Hello, I'm Fred McPherson, formerly and currently of the group Spectre, here with Last FM and HP. Field day this year was actually a really good moment. It was like there was this palpable energy in the room. We were playing this quite small tent quite early on and we were convinced that no one would watch us. And there was just a really, everyone came in this real electric atmosphere and felt like a coming of age. And there was this guy, a grown man, standing at the front wearing some sort of windbreaker, intensely staring at us and maybe gurning. And he wasn't, wasn't with anyone. He seemed to know a lot of the words, even for songs that we haven't released. And I remember during the breakdown of one, the song was just getting up in his face and then just embracing him and feeling this sort of energy being passed back and forth. That was a good, good moment. And today, someone threw a bottle at my head. That was a similar sort of, less of a positive energy, more of a negative energy, but equally important in terms of back and forth, back and forth. You don't bring a bottle of wine to a dinner party and only drink your bottle of wine and say, oh no, don't have any bottle of my bottle of wine. Equally, you don't bring a bottle of wine to a dinner party and say, only have my bottle of wine. Please, it's for you. You bring a bottle of wine to a dinner party and you drink some of your wine, you drink some of their wine, they drink some of your wine. I think playing gigs much like that. Just most of our gigs are like the dinner parties when everyone forgets to bring a bottle. Someone had told me about the Mars Volta well, and I was standing outside Brixton Academy. They came and literally, the only word I could use to describe it was they proselytized to me at length about when the first Mars Volta record came out, D-Louse in the Comatorium, they're like, look, just trust me, buy this album, go home, buy this album, listen to it. Don't ask anyone any questions, don't Google it, don't find out any information about it. Buy this CD and listen to it. And I did, he really convinced me after about an hour spitting cider in my face, telling me. So I went home and bought it. Not went home and bought it, I went to the shop and bought it, then I went home, not the same night, the next night. 11 pounds it cost me from Virgin Megastore Piccadilly Circus. Anyway, I'm, I'm going off topic. So there I was, Mars Volta d in the Comatorium. I took it home, played it from beginning to end, burst into tears and couldn't leave my room for half an hour. And I would say that it was more a more important moment for me than my first sexual experience. Morning.